welcome to Pixel Talk. I am Corbin Stuckey, and uh, today's going to be somewhat of a different video. Um, so if you guys know me, I talk about movie news, movie reviews, trailer reactions, and gaming content and stuff like that on Pixel Talk. Um, but today's going to be a little different because I'm actually going to be looking at these toys. Um, but this is somewhat movie news because this is like Star Wars Episode 7 toys. Um, so first off, I just want to wish you guys a happy Force Friday. I got a little button right here. You see the button? Yeah, you yeah, you see it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I went to the Walmart at my hometown and I was able to get these toys right here. These uh, three and a half inch toys, I think. And um, I just got a, like a bunch of the main toys and I'm not doing an unboxing of these toys. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm just going to be holding the box in front of the camera, uh, showing you what the toys look like and um, a description of what the characters are from like, you know, behind the box. Uh, I think these are gonna be worth a lot of money someday, so I'm gonna be saving these uh, in like a little crate and just so I can sell in the next 30 years or so. Um, there is the Star Wars Black Series toys, uh, which are the more articulated toys, which are uh, like this. Um, but I didn't get all of those toys, and here's the reason why. Um, I, I have, a, I actually have a couple reasons. So these toys are like 18 to 19 dollars, okay? And uh, last night, I promised myself I wasn't gonna be spending a hundred bucks. And you know, I these were like 84 dollars and added up with like, I, I think there was like five or six of these Black Series toys that were gonna be like, um, it was gonna add up to like 200. I thought that was ridiculous for toys, so. And I also wanted to get these because these hold a lot of sentimental value to me because um, back when Attack of the Clones was coming out, I was probably like seven or eight. Um, it was my birthday and my dad actually took me to a Walmart like the one from last night. And uh, he said like, hey, get whatever you want. And I actually ended up getting a bunch of toys from Star Wars Episode Two. And uh, it was a really memorable time for me. Uh, I got Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, Count Dooku. And every time when a Star Wars movie comes out, I end up getting these toys because, like, every time when a Star Wars movie comes out, like, the toys are, like, the second most important part because, like, it's a franchise. It's, like, what kids love. And I just wanted to, like, buy these just to go back into uh, memory lane. So, yeah, it, it was really cool. Um, will I get the Black Series in the future? All of them? Most likely. I just wanted to save my money for tonight so I can, like, get these figures and still pay my rent. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get started. Like I said, I'm gonna be holding these figures in front of the camera and reading you the description in the back. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, so this is, uh, let's see. Is it gonna focus? Focus, please. There we go. I'm gonna have to tap on the camera. Um, so this is the main character in the new movie. This is Finn right here. And uh, you probably saw him in the trailer. He starts out as like a stormtrooper, or maybe he's disguised as a stormtrooper. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and a, a cool thing that I noticed is that when you collect some of the, the action figures, they come with little pieces and they build uh, this right here. Um, Please focus for me, for the love of God. It's essentially this thing right here. If you uh, get all the action figures, well, three of them out of all of them, you, you can build something like this. And if you notice, they're all color-coded, like each one that has the same color. This is orange, this is purple, this is blue, this is, um, what is this, green? I'm actually, funny story, I'm actually colorblind. I'm third colorblind, and I, this could be green or brown. I'm pretty sure that's green. Um, so yeah, this is Finn right here. Um, he is probably, like, what I've noticed about this character is that he, he's got, like, the same brown, yellowish coat that Luke Skywalker wore at the end of A New Hope. So this is giving me somewhat of the idea that this is, like, an outsider character. Uh, this might be, you know, the next Luke Skywalker, because, like, we saw in the latest footage from the movie, he was holding a blue lightsaber. And let's just read the uh, description of the character real quick. Um... Finn, uh, a trained warrior desperate to escape his past, Finn is plunged into adventure as his conscience drives him down a heroic but dangerous path. So uh, he might be, a, he might actually be a stormtrooper. Like there's been speculation that like he was just disguised as a stormtrooper, but he might actually be, you know, a stormtrooper and he's trying to get out of the, um, you know, business. 
Um, here's another toy. Um, it's yellow again. It makes uh, this figure right here. There we go. And this, what this is, this is a uh, a flame trooper. This is like a uh, stormtrooper with a flamethrower, obviously. Let's read the description right here. Uh, first Order Flame Trooper. Now, what the First Order is, it's just basically the Empire. Um, I don't think they are the Empire. They might be like, you know, the remains of the Empire. But uh, from what I understand, from what J.J. Abrams has said online, they're like Nazis, essentially. Um, I don't know what that means. Maybe they go out, you know, killing people. Probably not Jews. I don't even know if Jews exist in Star Wars. Maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> okay. First Order Flame Trooper. Uh, specialized stormtroopers of the First Order. Flame Troopers carry incendiary weapons that can transform any battlefield into an infernal blaze. So I think that's going to be pretty sick to see that in the movie. Like, you know, people burning alive. Oh, that's, that's pretty dark, actually. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. Um, same thing right here, this, it builds the same thing, it's orange, so, like I said, a lot of the, uh, toys with the same color, they build the same thing. Um, this character is, um, let's see here, uh, Constable Zuvio. Um, I have no idea what this character is or who he is. Um, he might be Andy Serkis' character, I don't want to, like, you know... I don't know. I don't want to say that because like I'm not entirely sure, but um, this does look like a character that would be CGI. It, it is possible that he could be somewhat of a practical character, but let's just read this description of the character real quick. Um, so, Constable Zuvio, uh, a vigilant law officer on a mostly lawless world, the tough and humorless Constable Zuvio keeps order in a frontier trading post. So he's like a cop, I guess? Not entirely sure. I'm actually very curious. So yeah, that's the uh, orange uh, section of the toys that build that thing. I don't even know what that is. Um, looks like a vehicle of some sort. I don't know. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so uh, this is... Let's see. There we go. Focusing. Yay. This character's name is uh, Poe Dameron. Um, now, something I, I notice about the toys, too, like, they're, they're okay with giving his last name in this, you know, in this toy line, but they don't want to give away the last name of uh, Finn. Um, all they want to do is just put uh, Jakku on, you know, the, the, the toy box. I don't know if that's his, like, last name, um, but that's just something to take into consideration. Like, maybe... They're hiding some of these uh, characters, like, last names because, like, you know, it might be a twist in the movie or a surprise where, like, they might be uh, related to somebody. Finn might be related to Lando because, obviously, you know, he's black. <laughs> I'm not racist. Um, I just thought it was really weird that um, they put his last name and not Finn's last name. So, um, so let's see. Poe Dameron or Dameron, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, little, uh, you know, trivia, actually. Why is his name Poe? Well, it's because J.J. Abrams, um, what he wanted to do, he wanted to make a character named after his daughter's uh, uh, toy panda. Uh, obviously, you know, panda, Kung Fu Panda. So this character was named after Kung Fu Panda. That's freaking awesome. This is an X-Wing fighter, and we've seen him in the trailer. He flies an X-Wing fighter. Um, so I'm really excited to see those parts of the film. A lot of nostalgia, a lot of a new hope footage. So, yeah, that's really cool. He's got the jumpsuit and everything. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't look like the helmet comes off. Um, that's a little sad. I don't know. That's meh. <laughs> Apparently, because, like, you know, he takes his helmet off in this picture right here. You'd think that he'd be able to, you know, take it off with the toy. You know, he's, I don't know. That's just me. Um, I'm seeing that a lot of these purple toys are mainly pilots, um, like this one right here. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, they they build uh, this thing right here at the bottom. This thing right here. Let me turn it around. So it, it builds this right here. Um, this is what you get for like buying a DSLR camera, guys. It's really hard to focus sometimes. Um, so this is um, a first order... TIE fighter pilot. Uh, I saw this guy in the trailer and he's, um, you know, he's got some black design on him. He looks like a pilot. Um, 
so yeah, he's got like a few symbols on his shoulder. I don't know if you can see that or not, but like if you Google it, you can see that he's got like a first order symbol on his shoulder. So yeah, I mean like nothing too special of a character. It's just like a side character. And much like this one, um, like I said, he builds this thing in the back. This is um, a resistance trooper. Uh, like I said, this is like a pilot or maybe a fighter on the battleground. Uh, what this guy is, is um, the resistance in this movie is basically the Rebel Alliance. Um, they change a lot of the names, uh, I guess, just to be their own thing. So if you guys are confused, the Rebel Alliance is essentially the... Um, well, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the resistance is essentially the Rebel Alliance, and this First Order is basically the Empire. So, um, yeah, if you got confused about that... Oh, and we got another main character here. Um, I'm really excited to see her character. Um, this is... Uh, focus, please, for the love of God. There we go. Um, this is Rey, Starkiller Base. Whoa, Starkiller. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the female lead in Star Wars The Force Awakens. And Rey, let's... Uh, um, actually, you know what? Hang on, I'm so sorry. I did not read the description for... Uh, these characters right here. Um, I'm going. I'm going to go back to Ray. Let me just read the descriptions for these because I totally forgot. Uh, Poe Dameron, um, an ace pilot. Poe Dameron is a leader in the Resistance's fight against the evil First Order. He soars into battle behind the controls of a modern X-wing fighter. Okay, and uh, we'll go to the First Order, the fire pilot. Um, the skilled pilots of the First Order launch into combat aboard advanced fighter craft hunting down enemy vessels, and protecting space around installations and warships. Okay. Might be a subplot. Uh, resistance Trooper. Uh, soldiers of the Resistance are well-trained and well-equipped, but must rely on hit-and-run tactics when faced with the overwhelming might of the First Order. Dang. Breaking some laws. Straight out of Compton. <laughs> Okay, so now we're back with Ray. Sorry, you guys, gonna remind me when I didn't when I don't like read the description. Okay, so Ray, um, so somebody was like telling me uh, a friend of mine was like telling me like she's not really like well um, made, like she's not well sculpted. Um, well, here's the thing with that. Um, I feel as though I, I don't really know what he meant by that. Maybe he meant like she didn't look like much of a um, you know nice female action figure. And I think what they're trying to do is I don't I don't think they're trying to like make her into like you know a beautiful girl or anything like that. I don't I don't I don't think they're like trying to like sexualize her in any way. I think they just want to like make like you know an action figure and like honestly it it doesn't look that bad. Like I mean if you were going for like maybe a Barbie doll, then yes. But like you know this is just like it looks like a regular action figure. It looks as sculpted as the other ones do. So. Yeah, um, so Ray Starkiller Base. Um, Ray is a resilient survivor, a scavenger toughened by a lifetime of dealing with the cutthroats. Hmm, cutthroats. Um, of the harsh desert world of Jakku. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, Jakku. Yeah, so that's what that, that's right. Jakku is the planet, like, hold on, here's Ben's character right here. It says Jakku on the box. Jakku is the um, the planet. So this is like him wearing the clothes on the Jakku planet. So that's what that means. I'm an idiot. You guys have told me plenty of times on the videos that like, um, we were watching the, the Star Wars trailer and I was like, oh, it's Tatooine. And you guys were like, that's not Tatooine, that's a new planet. So like, that's probably what that planet is. All right, so, ooh, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is the new Stormtrooper from the new Star Wars movie. I love the new design, I really do. Um, I wouldn't have mind if they brought back the, uh, you know, the original Stormtrooper, but this Stormtrooper looks like really, really cool. Um, he, he still has like the same basic getup, but like it's just a little different. Um, he's got like, you know, interconnecting lines on his face and stuff like that. Um, let's read the description here. Oh, and this is like the, um, especially with Ray, um, they're blue, and they make this on the, uh, you know, on the back. First Order Stormtrooper. 
Um, equipped with sleek armor and powerful weapons, the stormtroopers enforce the will of the First Order. So yeah, the uh, Empire, because it's a stormtrooper. Duh. And this is a little, a little odd. Um, they, well, I don't know, uh, for, I guess, toy purposes, they had to, because, like, you know, they're pretty recognizable characters. But... As for toys for the Force Awakens, I was like, why did you, <laughs> why did you do this? Um, it's Darth Vader! Sweet! Check it out, guys. It's a Darth Vader toy. That is pretty cool. Let's read the description of Darth Vader, because we obviously don't know who Darth Vader is. Um, destined to bring balance to the Force, Anakin Skywalker fell to the dark side and arose as Darth Vader. That is not much, well, I mean, it's, that is what the character is, but like, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool that they brought Darth Vader back as a toy, um, for like, you know, older fans and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, and here's the main villain of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Kylo Ren. I'm pretty excited for this dude, okay? Um, this week I've been hearing so much of Kylo Ren. Um, people are saying that, like, you know, he could be the next Darth Vader. Now, I, I'm not gonna go down that road and say, like, this guy could be the next Darth Vader. Um, now, as far as him being, like, you know, a really cool villain in the Star Wars universe, I think so. Um, because, like, it, it seems like every time when these movies come out, there is a really cool villain. Um, there's Darth Maul, there's... Count Dooku, I don't know if Count Dooku would count, I don't know, Count, Count, <laughs> there's General Grievous, and just like, you know, people like that, and Darth Vader, but he, this guy could be on the ranks of Darth Vader, I'm not saying, like, we gotta give him a chance first, we gotta see the movie, but he looks pretty cool, he's got the, uh, guard lightsaber, that's, uh, that's pretty sweet right there, and they were selling that last night at Walmart, they were like, oh my god, they're selling guard lightsabers, that's, uh, Really cool. Oh, and um, he makes this thing on the back. Um, the uh, brownish green characters, they make this on the uh, on the back. So, and this has got to be my favorite toy out of all of them. Okay, so this is um, this is Captain Phasma. Focus. There we go. This is Captain Phasma right here, and um, this is a chrome. Stormtrooper with a cape. That is pretty freaking awesome. Um, now let's read this uh, character right here. Um, Captain Phasma, uh, clad in distinctive metallic armor, Captain Phasma commands the First Order's legions of troopers. So this is like the leader of the Stormtrooper. This is like this generation's Boba Fett or um, Jango Fett. I think that's freaking cool. And I can't wait to see, and apparently this is like, this isn't a dude. This is a female character. Um, I'm not entirely sure, um, but the actress playing this character is from Game of Thrones. Um, I could be wrong. I don't even know, but that's just what I read online. Um, but yeah, this is a female character right here, and I'm pretty excited to see this like a chrome stormtrooper in the movie. And we're down to the uh, last action figure, Luke Skywalker. Focus. There we go. Uh, this is Luke Skywalker, like I said about Darth Vader. They decided to bring Luke Skywalker back as an action figure for older fans. And, um, let's see here. Luke Skywalker, determined to rescue his captive rebel friends, his young Jedi, this young Jedi in training must face Darth Vader and confront the truth of his father's fate. Okay, so this is the plot from The Empire Strikes Back, dudes. Like, I thought it, I thought it was an actual plot to, um... The Force Awakens for a set for a second. Um, yeah. Um, the only kind of complaint I have about this action figure is that he looks kind of sad. I don't know if you can see that good or not, but he kind of looks like a really sad action figure. Like, like not like sad like a sad design, but like you know he, his expression on this action figure looks like literally sad. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, guys, that was all the main. Um, Star Wars, uh, three to four inch toys. Uh, I got these last night at Walmart. You can get these at Walmart, Target, Toys R Us. Um, what I was really sad about though is like they didn't have like a toy with a uh, BB-8. 
in it. Like, you, you think that there would be, like, a BB-8 toy, like, you know, um, because, like, they've had, like, separate toys with R2-D2 in them, but they didn't have that. However, I did find this, um, Black Series toy, uh, with Ray, and this has a little BB-8 in there, so I decided to get this because I really wanted to get somewhat of a BB-8 toy, and, uh, he's such a cute character. Look at him. He's such an adorable little character. He's, he's gonna just beat R2-D2 to death because he's so cute. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really kind of, I, I'm very fond of these action figures. Like, you know, I, I wasn't really expecting too much of a great sculpture design because these are action figures essentially played by kids. Um, but as far as they go, they look really nice. I love the packaging. I love the Stormtrooper action figures. Um, Kylo Ren looks really cool. And, oh, and the, 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 this is my favorite. This is my favorite, the Chrome Stormtrooper. That is freaking awesome. If you saw my trailer reaction to this movie, you saw that I was freaking out to this Chrome Stormtrooper. Like, I'll put an annotation right there for you guys to look up my trailer reaction. And I'm really excited for this movie. I'm really excited for like where the franchise is going. And if there's a series two for these Star Wars toys coming out, you can expect me to do another review on these toys. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Subscribe to the channel for more movie reviews, movie news, trailer reactions, and gaming content, and anything related to Star Wars. I'm going to be doing a review to Star Wars The Force Awakens when it comes out. So for my review, you guys should really subscribe to the channel. If you're a Star Wars fan, I'm a Star Wars fan, and I'm super excited, guys. I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much. I am Corbin Stuckey, and this is Pixel Talk.